G2 on the CT side. Navi starting on the T side. We're on nuke for the beginning of this one. Already, they are running two people down, and it looks like it's fast from the T side into the ramp. I don't think the CTs even know this yet. They might now, because they're also checking what an active round for the CTs already. And from the T side as well, Nico starts us up. Another headshot. He needs to fourth, and he'll get it. Oh, my God. We are off to a hot start. The last one is Modesty, and they have just decapitated Na'Vi. Blistering speed out of Nico to get us started into this series that we've hyped up so much, already delivering right there in the pistol round. What is this from Nico? He's just so precise. Nobody else you'd want in the world in this kind of position. All headshots, of course. They don't have a lot of incentive to do anything apart from just stall this out, buy some time. That's a hell of a flashbang. They were coming through the smoke to try and beat it. Oh. <laughs> well, there is another player on the server that can match the kind of output that Nico can have. And there is this single player defending lower in Nico. He's changed up his position from the previous round. And it looks like they'll make contact with Simple, but oh no. What is this? Simple with three in the round already. They'll be able to find a bomb plant. And G2, they're scrambling. Now, he's very low on health, luckily for them, so this should come to an end eventually. Just because he's well, out in the open, like you saw, couldn't really have the health to get any long fight in. Perfecto is still alive, and the bomb is planted in an awkward position for the CT side. A nice couple of headshots through the window from Hunter will make sure that doesn't become a problem, but... And it does actually seem like they're going for ramp, where two members from G2 wait. This is a tough crossfire to deal with, but that might open things up for a bit getting that frag. Puts a lot of pressure on the ramp all of a sudden, and they have a, a lot to deal with already. Oh, the crossfire is working out great. JKS will follow it up. A nice one, two, and even a three combination coming in there with JKS getting the last one. 20 seconds left at the moment, and with the bomb in ramp control of the CT side. So G2, they will secure the victory in spite of losing that early battle over at the, over at the secret stairs. Or is it actually towards the... Yeah, towards the vent instead. That's so quick. They were blowing out the windows in T-spawn and just threw it right away. Nico's gonna get wow. one! The follow-up is just a good, educated guess to take down Bits. And Hunter is there to make sure that nobody's gonna make the dive down. So, yeah, a bit of a roll of the dice in this one for Na'Vi. Probably hoping that some of the early pressure towards Mini and Vent would have, you know, maybe created more chaos on the G2 side. But that's not the case right now. Nico is locked in. And Navi, not exactly excited about this. I mean, there were some asterisks being put up at the beginning of it with NPL maybe not playing this map so much. And Navi getting him into the fit at the moment. Good trade from Simple, though. And he's still fighting left and right. He knows there's one more downstairs, oh. and Perfecto will finally be there to help out. Otherwise, that could have been a really tough spot. A minute and a two-on-two. It's not a bad position for Navi to be in. They have at least info about where Monacy is at the moment, and Hunter could be a little bit more elusive, perhaps, at this point in the game. I think there was a footstep too. Monacy might have heard that. Might be keyed on, onto an angle. And Hunter taking down Perfecto leaves just simple. He has one kill to his name. He does know where Monacy is. And he's able to take him down. 35 seconds left. Retrieves the bomb. Hunter on 9 HP. This is a great opportunity for Simple to win the 1v2 and to put Navi on the board. And what does Hunter do from here? Especially at one health. How do you even get up from this position? So risky. And he just has to. Again, try and gamble it. Simple is looking. Hunter's probably already dead, but he's going to have a, maybe one shot at doing this. Walking straight out into the whole way of the spray is there. Simple to win the one versus two against Monacy and Hunter and finally bring Navi on the board. We've loved what he's been doing lately. Ever since Hooksy joined the lineup, he's been just going for these so vigorously. And Nico is there to connect with him. Two openers for G2. The bomb is out there and it's going to get picked up eventually, but... Just, you hear the M4 go off up by the container, and you are not expecting to get a peek by an AWP. That's a 2 in one shot. Oh, oh no! <laughs> he just didn't even face him. Simple on the other side. Love to see his reaction. Probably more about self-preservation at this point. Try to do a little bit of economic damage. Okay. We're going to find a kill on Hooksy there. But that will be it. All right. Sixth round for G2. Navi, they had to construct... This is brutal, though. <laughs> this wall bang. Oh, man. <laughs> that's something you think Simple's doing to somebody else, but he's on the receiving end for once. Maybe that's why he's not complaining. It's like, yeah, fair play. I would have done the same. All right. This is a good position for Nico, though. 
Could be, especially because they only have one Molotov and they don't want to use it for this one. So he's going to get that one almost for free. It's what you love to see. He's, look at the rest of the team, even. <laughs> yeah. No one's even close. Oh, here oh. we go. Well, Hunter wants to catch up. Double kill for him there. I love this about G2 and how they play Nuke, by the way. The way that even in a five on four, they're willing to push the issue. It catches teams off guard so frequently. NPL finally finds his first. 30 seconds though, and it might be too little too late for the rest of Navi, but oh, okay, a second kill from NPL. That was looking pretty snappy. We're seeing the individual skill from the youngster, but it's gonna be very tough to break whatever it is G2 are doing. All right, some utility out. A exec is there for Navi, but only a single player out. But Bit actually able to chime in with one, pushing on forward. The angles are taken away from G2, and they're fun they're just stuck on that bomb site. Very weird round for Navi to finally get a bomb plan, but whatever it takes, I suppose, at this point in time, they desperately need it. I just said they might not have a chance again, but if they win this one, I'll take it back. You know, Electronic with a Tech-9 to drop JKS, and now there's a real shot at it. They just have to get through Nico and Monacy, and already that's in full effect. Simple's gonna get a headshot there. Oh. Quick shot, he jumps close and Simple there to meet him. Another clutch, both the rounds they have so far is Simple winning it for the team. Oh, look at this cool lobby crunch. It's a new classic. Perfecto, though, one of the hardest players, I think, to fool with something like that. He just always seems to be aware of his surroundings, even at the start of a round like that. So well played in taking down Hooksy. But those lobby crunches are so lethal. And he gets, wow, he actually what? gets shut down. Anyway, Nico, he took the liberty, the space on the map to crawl onto the T-roof, which in itself is a massive risk. And then he got the shot. Simple's going to be taking down Monacy and Hunter. Just his head showing here. Molotov maybe to try and buy some time. JKS getting in the taps on the outside. And another headshot here for the Australian player. Nine to two. That's so sick. It, that, that's supposed to be a free kill for anyone that's waiting. Okay, doors open. Monacy though blinded. And Hooksy, oh, okay, there's too much utility this time. Navi, they tried for that A play once again, but they're still fighting back into this. Eventually he did go down. Navi trying to see if they can put some pressure on the ramp. Good jump by. It's so nice to have someone you can bait into those kind of angles. And then JKS just couldn't follow the spray through the AKs there to follow it up. Nico goes down after the single kill. So the timing, will it favor? Oh, you don't know yet. This is a coin flip, but it looks like it's going to be Hooksy. Absolutely disgusting timing so far. He's going to be takedown perfecto in 35 seconds. Good headshot, but Pit has no idea that Hunter is right there. And he still almost wins the fight. That is dangerously close. Monacy, if you think a flash or anything like that would be enough, there's at least the trigger, but he can't catch him. And Nico, <laughs> there's the trap. Bit was looking for it, but you're so busy trying to scale up a little bit of map control behind having forced that AWP back that he wasn't quite ready for the fight. Under a minute now, and Monacy's moved back with the AWP, and that's a shot he's not going to miss. Three versus five to start the round with. And it's another one of these scenarios where if Navi win this round, there's no more cash left on G2. They've been here before and they weren't able to crush that economy. And now here we are again. It looks like G2 are going get, to get away with it one more time. And that'll be a huge part of the story for how this new map has played out so far. It's just the continuation of the econ economy game for G2. The inability for Navi to string together consecutive rounds, but they're still looking to attempt this one. The Molly's there, NPL's trying to find the spam. It's him and Perfecto, they gotta bring this one back. NPL, he's actually able to deal with Bonacy, but there's just too many bodies on the bomb site. They actually are able to find those openers. Yeah, they should be, and... Just been working on that new lineup, so I'm not too concerned. Monacy with the opening again, this time it's simple, so... Heavy loss for Navi to lose him early on in this 15th round. They are in so much trouble, Nico. There's oh. <laughs> nothing so far. What an absolutely classic performance out of him. Doing it in, I mean, the yard of Nuke at the moment. Three versus five, 50 seconds left. And Monacy, shallow peak coming up from Electronic. But because this kid on the other side is so oh. lightning fast, it doesn't even matter. He's going to hit the shot anyway. Perfect on the last one left. And only question is, how do you want to go down? Nico or Monacy? He'll pick Nico. And what a devastating first half. G2 looking hot to begin with. I loved how Hooksy called that round too. Every time Nico got a kill, nice. That positive reinforcement goes a long way. It does. Just 
teach him, even if. Oh! <laughs> no. Keep it going, Nico. Come on. Come on. Oh. He does one more time. Yes. Another headshot. You must be kidding. It's simple and bit. <laughs> He's just done it again. <laughs> Man, this guy, he wants the pistol crown. He's already smiling in the middle of the round. <laughs> Why that smile on your face? Oh. oh, he's out hunting. That's pure greed, but you have Ooh. to you have to let him do it. That's he's an artist. Just don't interrupt him. Just let him go. It's so stupid. Oh. Oh no. Okay, well, Bit wants a chance. Took a bite, but huge bite back. Okay. Yeah. All right, there we, we go. 13th round for G2. That is uh really not the start you were looking for for Na'Vi. Again, we were prefacing it as such that with Na'Vi, if you give them that pistol, if you give them a chance, if they have room to breathe, they could have brought this back. But at this point, it's hard to believe in that world, that that timeline when Nico is playing at this level. You think that the halftime break would cool him off, but he stayed as hot as ever. It's where is NPL? putting himself and he is taking the same spot sty had this is already a big challenge for him though as they are executing into his sight and he is passing the first test two kills with the famas but there are still g2 players trying to breach this bomb site jks finding two of his own and perfecto on top of the hut able to close things out along with bit yeah huge huge play at the start from mpl obviously getting those two headshots is amazing something to be happy about look forward to the future okay electronic Great damage. And Nico, who's really just controlling all of outside in the previous half, won't have a chance this time. There's a long history with Electronic and the smokes out in the yard here in a bunch of different... I was a little bit disappointed we didn't see any of it in the first half at all. No. But he has this walking through the smokes and yard history, and it's so sick to watch. So I hope we get that back. It's a good round for him. Third kill as he takes down JKS. A little bit of a boost over, but perfecto. Pretty quick for the reactions, and he's going to be taking down Monacy. It's about to be five rounds for Navi. Yeah, we'll see if Hooksy's able to find anything, but no, not going to happen. There are already three players from Navi down there. From Navi, the smokes are here. Nico actually might play around this timing here. These smokes are landing, and he might just sneak right in. Oh, no! Okay. Second round now in a row that Electronic just finds that much damage through the outside smokes. Everything's kind of been revealed right now. It feels like G2, there's no element of surprise. Very safe way to take that jump as you kind of curve the... You sort of stop the arc of the jump a little bit and you get down to the ground a little bit earlier. Booksy and JKS both go down and it's a flawless round out of Navi. 14 to 7. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried yet for G2, but oh. it, it is not... It's not looking good. Not finding any headway on these rounds. The reason I'm not too worried is because it's been off the back of electronic spraying people through smoke twice and you have amnesia you don't remember the other g2 games they need to keep this up navi they've had a good run at the start of the second half this is pretty impressive they were almost getting pushed out of nuke but one slip up one mistake and it could be done perfecto's not going to be making any, many mistakes at all and jks he'll still be able to find that one electronic showing up and he's deadly accurate but monacy he's up for the task Three on three, NPL on the back getting put to the test once again. And his crosshair oh. was not ready for it. Follow up headshot for Monacy leaves simple down below, far away from the action and unable surely to reclaim this round. And Hooksy, he actually was able to take down that anchor. It's only sitting at eight kills, but it was an important frag at that. D2 running out of time right here. They have a smoke still to try and see if they can block off something and go for the bomb plant. But simple, he's in all the right places at the moment. That's the smoke. Great oh. use of it. A hooksy on the opening. Perfecto. Double spray down. Maybe to try and save the day here for Navi. If not for that, they might have already lost it here. Four seconds left and they can't see a thing. The bomb is going to get planted. Even if simple comes in with the punishment afterwards. JKS now on his own to try and win this one for G2. Oh. And he can't get the job done. NPL labored spray but it will be another round for navi and that's gonna be fun when it gets there if it does they have to still win in the five rounds oh. in a row when nico running through with the ak he's taking it on upon himself to just try and see if he could close it right now 31 kills on him and the pressure is on for the b bomb site no time wasted oh. instant bomb plant grenade on top of simple and with jks stabbing in the back with a mac 10 that is absolutely lethal what a call g2 changing the formula and speeding up to that b bomb site and navi were not ready no the outside smokes worked out for him 
Electronic couldn't repeat the success of prior rounds, just spamming them right through the smoke blindly. And now he's forced into such a tough situation along with his partner in crime, Perfecto. They've done a great job clawing this one back, but it will not be enough. G2 closes this out 16 to 10. Really well done. Um, nice way to finish it, not repeating any kind of history. G2 fans have got to be excited about that. And all Counter-Strike fans should be excited about this game. That was a really fun way to get this started. Of course, it is only the beginning of the best of three. Yeah, and we've got a smoke from Hunter. That should be landing front sight. And there's some flashes too. So, oh no, sorry. It was actually the Mahone smoke. The one he showed actually in the Mahone zone. It was. They don't have to worry about it. They're going to be jumping into it. And there's the headshot. One from C, one from Nico. And it will open up the bomb side. So yeah, even in a non-rifle round, that is still a really powerful smoke as the most aesthetically pleasing. It's a very good take as an analyst to make to make statements like that because you can't really no one can really argue with that true it's it's subjective in nature but it also uh really puts him out there and, and it, it's a great way to describe just how nico plays too and it's dangerous for him to jump to look over that could also obviously expose him to electronics so oh, oh. just enough i can't believe it i'm not even sure what he spotted there probably an arm but that's actually going to activate g2 they're pressing into the bomb site now nico finds the double entry off the back of the assist from hooksy and that's navi priced out of this round i don't know how much he let's see this what well, i actually can't okay. explain that i need i need his eyes and his settings in game and i need his monitor settings on top of that Maybe especially as simple with this AWP. We saw the Mahone was talking about the flashes you could throw into the pit right here. If one of those land, you might be in trouble. But before it even gets close, it's another flashbang and an MP9 that sets up a beautiful double for Electronic. And they take that all away from G2. They thought they were setting up on the B bomb side. In fact, where G2 are likely trapped behind all those smokes, and then the perfect flash setup is there. Electronic able to pick up two, even with the weakened gun. Given that he was on the MP9, and now Monacy just wants to save this AWP into the next round. A re-rerun. I've seen this exact thing happen last round, Anders. Round but they're going faster. They're going yeah. much faster. Way quicker this time before that MP9 shows up. Simple. He's flashed, but not enough. He could still see Hoopsy. Oh, what? <laughs> hey, that's absolutely sick. A good couple of headshots. Bit and Simple get exploded, and Navi will pull the block once again immediately. You know, a lot of the time we say, oh, I wonder, you know, if things would have played out differently. Like, how could that last round have been played out? And then they, oh. they actually they actually give it to us. They just say, okay, we will play, both of us, the same round. Perfecto. And then Electronic playing the anti-flash position. It could be that there's going to be a flash oh. from JKS. Oh, wow. Here we go. Let's see. Electronic pushing forward. And he's going to find Hooks. I think JKS was down there. Although he doesn't have a nade, so maybe not. Spray can't be continued, but Perfecto, he can't escape right now. Just a grenade. He still picks up one more kill. And that is huge. If not for that, it's a two-on-two -two with a likely afterpond. And now instead, it's Monacy. We've seen him do some clutches before, but this one, nine seconds. He has to go straight for the bomb plant. He doesn't even really try it. There we go. Now, I think it's over. If they run him down, he cannot win the round. NPL will be the one to get rid of him. No bomb plant either. And Navi, since Nico hasn't been able to find anything, he's just getting shut down in most of these banana takes. It's been tough for them to find anything at all. Oh, whoa. Oh, leg shot. And Monacy will be able to run him down. Bit, you can't go down. You have to stay alive. You're the only defender at the bomb site. This is critical. He's going to put out smoke behind him, but they're just coming from Monacy. Oh. Stolen the AWP, and you'll find a kill on the electronic. Nico with a headshot. Bit is still fighting for the team inside. And finally, he is brought low. It's perfecto now in a one versus two, but so far, is Nico that's paved the way with the Deagle. Yes, just absolutely stealing it away. One leg shot and then the running pistol coming out from Monacy. He steals the AWP, gets another one, and then Nico's there to follow it up. This is so disgusting, but at the same time, everything that G2 could have hoped for. After losing the economy, this is what they get. Oh, wow. Nico is pre-firing around corners with a Deagle, by the way. That's how much he's feeling the game. G2, Man, yeah. I, I, they're going to be on such low time to try to close this one out. What do they even do? You're absolutely right. Ready to see 26 seconds. Simple able to find a hook seat. They're going to try and improvise this into some sort of a B split. But they need to fight for win this fight right now. And the crossfire setup here, maybe you check one of these angles. Surely you don't check both, especially when an electronic is this far forward. This is so well played. 
Navi, they read what's coming and they don't just passively wait by. JKS, one last grenade over on the arch side to try and set it up, but here comes the real attack. 18 seconds left in Perfecto. He's calling. He's on the microphone right now saying, yeah, they're definitely coming. Down to 12 seconds. They can't waste any more time, G2, and they won't. JKS finds a second headshot, and this is a great two-for-one trade getting into it. Attempted retake there from Simple, but that is blown up, and I'm a little bit surprised Navi is still pushing for this. It seems like it's impossible to unfold. They've been so selective in which fights and which after plants they want to fight for and this one they go for that's curious yeah this one seemed to get away from from simple and npl there just prodding on in perhaps a little bit too deep now the money is in a bit more precarious position than navi would have liked bits very close oh my no no way do it. he's going to do it he's already on it he has the time for it. wait monacy's turned around he's looking for it he has to run it and he saves <laughs> the day oh Ooh. How close was that? Nico taking a bit more damage than he would have liked. Just being licked by that Molotov. And there is a beautiful flash. No, Electric doesn't commit to it, actually. Still recognizes his position, and somehow it's NPL that is able to find the kill. So, Electronic pressured, but Perfecto is right there behind him, too. And so he's standing his ground, and I think this might tip G2 off to the fact that this guy shouldn't be fighting right now. There's gotta be, something's gotta be up here. Yeah. Yeah, they're calling a bit of a hold right now. Wait a minute, maybe not. Hunter's flashed his oh. way through, and that's a god flash. Taking down Electronic, but there's still another player here, and they were not ready, at least not for him to be up that close. JKS is going to walk right into the shot, leaves Hooksy on his own. He'll get the kill, and at least he'll get the bomb plant. He goes straight for it, and Smoke's not going to fade just yet. So Hooksy now, simple and bit on the other side. What a duo to be up against a clutch of your Hooksy here. They don't have any nades, and neither does he. So it's all down to the mechanics at this point. Simple, trying to check all the angles. Getting shot in the back, though, and now the pressure is on Bit. He's got a kit, but I'm not sure that helps right now. He's just going to try and not fake it. He's going all in on this one. Hoopsie hoping to jiggle oh! it out, and in the last second... No! Oh! It was Navi! He got the defuse anyway! It looked like it was on. I oh. can't believe it. Oh, he got it? The defuse? Oh, man. Hooksy timed that so well, too. You could see him counting in his head. And no time to count now, though. What the? Monacy right through the side of that wall. And G2 are brute forcing their way into this bomb site with numbers, with impressive shots. This might be an eighth for them, but Electronic and Perfecto, not the best buy to get back in this, so... He's still top fragging on that side and in the server, but they've really cooled him down from what we saw on Nuke, and that in itself is impressive. Electronic, nice boost over, but it also reveals Perfecto. They know exactly where he is, and he's never gonna be able to escape this one. Good headshot, eight to seven at the end of the first half. In a world of his own with this pistol. So let's just see if we could do it again. He's alone right now. There's no one here to help him out. There's one headshot, but you know more could be coming. They're trying to get rid of him, and that's great. That's how they got rid of him in the opening half here. Smoke him out, flash him out, throw nades at him. Just make sure he can't get those clean shots. So one might not be enough here. It's a defuse, and straight up banana comes the retake for G2. They're not slowing this down, Perfecto, though. Good Glock shot to bring down Monacy, and now they're getting a bit closer. Hooksy, he wanted that defuse, and now he's back in the second round here for second half to try and get some revenge. NPL, one versus three, and Hooksy will hunt him down triple here for the Danish captain of the team. Oh, wow. They're not going to have those, which is a bit of an issue. That's a T CT side flash that came out to the corner of Arch. Oh, wow. 20 seconds, and Hooksy's pushing up. So is Nico. Navi, they think they're about to attack the bomb site, but instead, they are getting shot in the back. And Panic's going to be at an all-time high for Navi right now. Monacy spraying them down. A triple on the young star. And Electronic, yeah, they just, there's nothing they could do. They got absolutely caught with their pants down. Just took so long to develop that play, Navi. They set the pieces in motion, but but NPL didn't trust himself. That's that's worrying. And Monacy, he does. He definitely does. He's pushing on forward right there with Nico. Monacy wall bangs, banging simple out of the server, and Nico just keeps pushing. This guy does not care if you are set up. He doesn't care how many people you have towards Banana. He wants to do better than he did in the first half. The numbers are actually not here for, for G2. Yeah. That, that might be the saving grace for Navi. It's a crossfire between just a couple players. Hunter and JKS, they got to hold on right now. And it looks like they'll be able to do so. JKS finds one, a second, 
and Electronic, he's already priced himself out of this round. Six HP, not good enough to even hunt for the trade. When it's Monacy on the other side of the server, there's a reason to be worried, but there's also getting the jump and knowing you have the jump in those kinds of situations. And I think he did spot those two players, so I, I'm, I'm just a little bit concerned for NPL there. AK in the hand of Electronic, some pistols oh. for the rest of them, and again, the aggression is out, and is not just Hunter. JKS and Hooksy, and Hooksy was up in the apartments behind, so that's a three-man swing to test second mid, and it just wipes out Navi. This is so frequently the call after a timeout like that. Actually, we'll see. Can Simple figure this one out? This is an interesting position for JKS. No, just not going to clear that angle. Never going to expect somebody there. But but you're going to see this a lot in higher level CS games when a team is ahead, the team is trying to come back into it. The, the team with less rounds calls the timeout. Who knows what can happen, but this is still looking very promising. Hunter turned around for the flash in the middle. But with him and uh, JKS on the other side, this is a three-way crossfire, a four-way crossfire, in oh. fact. And it's blowing them up. Wallbang onto Bit to take him down in Simple and Perfecto. In Monacy, he has his cousin in Hunter. And it, it actually feels like this, this team has really found their stride. Wait a minute. There oh. could be a way back, maybe. Oh. Monacy put to the test oh, in the no. corner. And he couldn't get another shot off. Two on four into a two on two. As Perfecto and Simple will open it back up. She said the two cousins... Now circling the bomb site. Already a lot of time off the clock, but at least Nico does have a defuse kit. So there is maybe a chance to get the job done, but not when Simple's hitting the shot. And actually Perfecto picked up the second AWP. That's a steal from Navi. We just said it. If G2 played discipline, then Navi should never be able to get back in the round, but somehow they did anyway. Yeah, I don't even think G2 didn't play discipline. They just missed the shots as the players were approaching them into that bomb site. Despite hitting all these blinders to start the round off, it was Monacy who missed a couple here in the back of the site. What could be four or five players doesn't make a lot of sense. Monacy is going to be sneaking in, and if he catches the timing on perfect, so that's a kill, but that should also be the springboard moment for the rest of Navi to say, all right, let's just go. Electronic runs straight into it, and JKS, he wants to be the hero here. Falling back into the site, oh. tapping away, and he does get the shot on bit. That is an insane performance. I thought he was going to be dead right away. Two versus two now, and he's actually bought away for G2 to maybe at least get close enough to try for the retake. Yeah, they have a chance. Monacy that and Nico. Yeah, they do. Almost only spots it. Simple though. He seems to have got his hands on that AWP in a nice way. And Monacy recognizes it's not worth it. So for all of the work that JKS did, it's not quite enough. Yeah, this boost is usually good for the one kill. But when that many rifles are on the other side and all you have is the deagle inside, I don't think this crossfire should be enough to stop this at all. 30 seconds. A little bit of a smoke coming out. That's interesting. But they're going to find the kill immediately. The bomb, that's very oh. awkward. I want a spray for Hunter as well. He takes down NPL. 20 seconds. And now it is a little bit more fun. G2 with a chance to steal this round away. We can get Monacy and JKS into a position. There's a gap in the what? smoke. That's so what? strange. Simple. Nobody guarding him. That must have been called out. It feels like what could be a devastating mistake from Navi. Electronic is now in the back here, and they know it as well. No grenades, but it doesn't matter. JKS has shown up to play in the game. He's got 17 kills, and that is the round won by G2. Simple couldn't really have swung against that. He also steps on a grenade, so four and five to start the round. <laughs> okay, fine. That's great. Take Nico down through the smoke and behind the wooden play back there. It's Electronic to go down next, and the pressure is on. Hunter here to help out, even as Monacy will miss the shot. It's Simple and NPL, and they're not even aware. Whoa. Hunter, that's a huge misstep. He walked right into it. Simple's creeping up. Monacy's on the other side, and the timing betrays him. He's going to get dropped. And Hooksy, how much of a hero do you want to try and be here? They have a little bit of money, but maybe not quite enough. Don't get out of that pit. Just stay there for as long as you can. The bomb is way out in the open. He's going to try and underhand that smoke. They all train at the corner. Nice pre-fire. And he's quick with the spin. There's a chance now. But again, that bomb position is so dangerous. Hooksy, he has to hit this headshot right now. It has to be a one-click, and NPL's playing with him down there. Time is running out, and it's NPL to bring it down. And another round for Navi, up to 12. Pre-fire on the simple. It made you believe for a split second there, but just call simple the Nico killer in this one. Three rounds in a row that he's able to find the pick onto him, and that's been monumental in the chances 
for Navi. And he actually has company two. Monacy is rotated in. The fact that they got the nade kill on MPL is obviously huge. Oh, he oh. does check it! Monacy. And now he knows. Absolutely sick. He has every clue. A little bit of spam coming over the top. Electronic just trying to stay alive back here. And Nico's so hungry oh. to get the kill. And that might have been not just hungry, but greedy. Monacy is trying to escape, but Electronic is on top of it. And the round is going to go to Na'Vi. They're just too far away. A round that he probably went like 70% of the time to maybe like 85% of the time. It's a huge step in the right direction. But when you die instead, it swings so far back the other way. So the risk versus reward. This has been a death sentence for G2. These setups have not held up. No, they really haven't. And they know it as well. Monacy is going to be dropped. And now you've got to wonder Navi, do they still want to go through with this? This is the best defended part of the map at the moment. 25 seconds. They are pushing through underneath Nico. The flash is so good. It doesn't even matter. This is going to be overtime. JKS is way too far away. And Navi, what a way to call themselves back into the second half. I'm really impressed. They made it work. Even though Nico is playing super well at the moment, they found a way to shut it down. JKS not going to find anything. Yes, Navi. Brought it all the way back. This was a rough start for them. They're making their way up that long side too. And now Monacy, he, he might feel like there's some pressure towards CT, but it is in fact an A hit. The time though. Navi, this is getting really scary. 18 seconds. They're starting to make their way around the corner. <laughs> no scope. Okay. I'm worried for nothing. They blow it wide open. I was getting a little bit scared because... You don't know, especially in overtime, there could be another grenade left. There could be a Molotov inside of the A-bomb. Could be a fourth just, player there. There could be a fourth player there even. They're going to be catching Hoaxy as well. Absolutely flawless work from Na'Vi, in spite of my concerns. Use it very well. This is how it all kicked off. NPL with that frag on Nico. Simple battle opping his way into the bomb site. Next couple of shots here will be absolutely telling for Na'Vi. 23 now. And the clock's running down low. JKS spotting it out, and that should be the call. Nico's walking up the middle. He knows that this is coming towards the A-bomb side, so he's going to be here fast. And it doesn't stop simple, though. He's going to take down JKS. Monacy, they're about to be right on top of him, and I think he realized, gets the flick onto Perfecto, and now pulls up the USB instead. Four seconds. He takes down Electronic and leaves Simple all alone. Very low on health here. Molotov, I don't think is going to be saving, and the problem is... He just can't take a sustained fight. And Hunter, smartly, on top of the box, oh. is being read. Simple. He's one step ahead, and he needs one more headshot. That was nearly it. Monacy, he must be feeling oh. the pressure. And Simple just is not absolutely world class. You push him back into a corner, but somehow he's able to fight out of it. Yeah, getting that trade, maybe it's worth it. It's better than Nico's been doing for some rounds. It feels like so many rounds, Nico's just been dead from the outset here. Monacy, he sees it, and that's enough. Perfecto not able to beat that one. He's going to be back into it, quickly smoking it off, expecting a Molotov to follow. And now let's see if he could get one more flick in. That one wasn't it. 20 seconds left. The grenades, they don't do anything. He already saw it coming. He has a leg onto bit, but Electronic is still there to create another opening for his team. The wall bang, it is close, but not close enough to drop MPL. He stuck that defuse. He didn't give up, which is really scary when you're getting spammed like that. And now he's looking for the one tap on that AK. That was nearly it. Three on three. Flashes coming over the wall, and they want this round. They need this round on the G2 side. It's all Hunter, all the way at the end. And a 16 to 17 scoreline in the first half of overtime. G2, a sigh of relief, surely. They're finally getting a round. This is so much pressure. It okay. is. This is one of those rounds earlier where they played slow and it backfired. This time, again, they're going very fast oh. with it. A bit and NPL. They are alone, but they're still getting the job done somehow. Three versus five and plenty of time. And the rotation is in already. A three-man switch from banana into second to mid. And they're just getting picked apart. This is great. It's actually a bit of revenge from earlier where G2 had that same backstab onto Navi. Now Navi are doing it in return. The flank came about. Nico. Yeah, he's sitting in the library right now. He might get one, get one off guard, but no, actually, NPL takes him down. Oh, there's so much warning. Yeah, NPL, he, he, he recognizes that Simple is under pressure now. Yeah, there is a Molotov on Hunter, so they could throw it back here. I think they might have done that. No, not yet. 
Smoke oh. is up. No scopes, Nico! Oh no! 35 seconds. He almost stuck that gun right in Munt Hunter's face, but instead, it's the AK to come out on top. That is so scary, though. And now from at range, Monacy, this is where he feels at home. No more nades on the Navi side, so they cannot dig Monacy out of this corner realistically into that round. Yeah, except AKs, I guess they can't buy. So that's, that's true. That's, that's, a, that's a very fair point. Yeah. They have what it takes. Actually, this could be a really sick timing. If they run down simple, this defense might be done, but it's easier said than it actually is oh. to do it at the moment. Nice crouch from Hunter will take down simple. And alone inside of the bomb site, it's a solitary player from the Navi side. Hunter, a bit of a quiet game for him, but two kills in this round, looking for double overtime by his lonesome. If Bit is able to pull this off to get us to Mirage, it would be a miracle. Yeah, alone against three people that are coming. He's isolated in the corner and instantly dropped. Hunter was absolutely sure he wanted to get the double overtime. I don't know. G2 need to make a series of mistakes, probably to allow Perfecto and MPL to get back into this round. A little bit of a peek, the timing is great. And Nico will tap it away. It is Perfecto, the last one alive, G2. And this time at the hands of Hunter, getting the round and getting into double overtime. That must be a huge relief. Okay, all right. Simple, wants to peek down mid. Early banana pressure. Nico naded down to 52. Has a gap right here with this smoke. This might actually catch them off guard. Electronic, not actually aware of that okay opener finally for g2 towards banana Ooh. perfecto okay he's trying to get on top of these oranges and nico's reading that he wants to keep pressing on forward he's right there perfecto's butt to nico and simple he's trying to collect the situation right now there is no smoke for ct oh until until now he actually liked him through anyway it's so sick he doesn't have to see it oh. another like shot coming through and still no kills behind it i love the fact that nico he jumped all the way up, getting close and personal to get that kill. Obviously, everyone was blind, but that is so sick. Nico, he really got shut down in regulation on Banana. He could not find that kind of entry, but in double overtime, he is there. Hooksy, blind or not, he's going to get that kill. And finally, Simple is there, but it is too late now. That bomb is so far ticked. It is a 2 on 3 and I think even Simple has to admit this one's not going to be happening. Uh, they're hunting him oh. down. They want to take that away. That's sufficient. Even if they lose a couple of more players at the end, it's not going to matter. First round of double OT goes to G2. Yeah, but none of them have smokes to stop the Molotovs. So if they actually throw good Molotovs here, G2, especially if they were boosting, that was my real worry. They're going to be flashing their way through. And Electronic, nice. Oh, no. They all love this. Instantly worked. They're not checking Perfecto. But Hoaxie, he is the third man on the site, and he's still able to get the shot. That's super important. Through the smoke, though. It's bit to find JKS for some odd reason. 25 seconds and a three on three. And look at how far away they are on the minimap. It's a triple crossfire between Hooksy, Monacy, and Nico. And Monacy, he's in his favorite spot. <laughs> he is. And once again, maybe they have a smoke, but not much else. They can't easily get rid of him. Takes the shot onto NPL. And Navi know what time it is. They're already backing away. G2 is taking a long break. But in double OT, they seem to have found a little bit of a groove again. The question is if they can escape with what they have. The AK is going to be denied. The rest will go up with the bomb. But 20 to 18. This is starting to feel a bit more fresh. The pressure is back on. I think Navi felt like that was a one fight. Okay, we've cleared Banana. It's all good. And then Hooksy nearly broke through. The flash will definitely get the job done. It almost counts as a double here. If they realize G2, if Hooksy is aware of this, that's devastating. He's going to go test it. What, what? What? He's just walking through the smoke? He's lost his oh mind. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Hooksy is acting like a star right now. The shadows might just be showing on the ground, and Hooksy can crouch in and get the job done. Oh, he saw it. He did. That, yeah. that was a pixel right there. I'm pretty sure that he did. He's thinking about it. He's got to make sure no one else is nearby. There's the flash, and there's the setup. It is so sick. Three versus five in the back of the bomb site. Electronic low from earlier. His earlier fight against Hooksy was a real issue. 27 seconds. So even if the bomb stops here, it should still be recoverable. Nico making sure the bit cannot join. And now Electronic, the hunt is on. Hooksy continuing what he started. A triple kill here in double overtime. As simple as alone in a one versus four. Might as well go for it because it's going to switch half in a second. That might be the craziest thing we see today. I know. <laughs> Hooksy just charging in to take banana control to find the opening kill. Their Monacy is flashing for Hooksy to take top banana. And then he sneaks in 
And then there's another flash to set up Hooksy. And Hooksy just kills Simple. What a round. That's such an encouraging sign for G2. This is the kind of strength they need. Oh, Monacy. Oh, what? <laughs> a headshot through the wall? No oh, way. no. Oh, no. Simple. Didn't even get a chance at that one. This kid right here, Monacy. He'll be continue to be tested. He doesn't have to see his opponents, Anders. He takes another life. And JK, yes, this is a freebie. Bit lurking out in desperation. One kill away. And G2, they have survived the storm. NPL, the rookie himself, trying to get his team back into this one, but it's hopeless. It's desperate. It's Monacy in the back of the site. He might get another blind kill right here in just a moment. But. NPL is still pushing on forward, finds the tag, and the swing is there. Nico, G2, they weather the comeback from Navi to take it in double overtime, 22 to 18. How are you supposed to fight someone that you can't, you can't even turn the corner? You're just dead before he can even spot you. It's absolutely absurd, but that's where we are.